be a short demo of our Panatracker GP Manufacture Item Cross Reference feature. Do you receive or produce inventory items with a barcode item number that is different than your setup GP item number? Would it be convenient if you could easily scan that alternate item number to efficiently capture inventory transactions? Did you know that your Dynamics GP database has a spot to store those alternate item numbers? And if you use Panatracker GP, an integrated barcode tracking solution built specifically for Dynamics GP, you can take advantage of those barcodes and use them to scan and capture your inventory transactions. Let me show you how. First, in Dynamics GP, you can access the manufacturer's item number maintenance screen in a couple of different ways. From the Inventory Cards menu, go to Item Purchasing Options, type in your item number. Once selected, you'll find a little gear icon that you can click on. This will open up the manufacturer's item number maintenance window. You can also open this window directly from the item card. Use the handy Go To and select Purchasing on the menu. Because the item is already populated, simply click the gear icon to open the window. You can now enter one or several cross-reference numbers here and you can also mark one as primary. Now let's take a look how the Panatracker GP solution integrates with this setup. I'm going to use the item inquiry screen to demonstrate the scanning of a manufacturer's item number. When I scan the manufacturer's item number, it will automatically translate it to my GP item number. When too fast, I'll type it in so you can verify this feature better. Now, if you don't already have all those numbers populated in your GP database, don't worry, we have help for you. First, we have a transaction under our Tools menu that will let you associate an alternate item number to your GP item number. I'll scan a new manufacturer's item number for this item. Then, I'm going to associate it with an item in my database. To make this a little bit faster, I'm going to use our Type Ahead filtering. By typing in the first few characters, I can easily find my item number in my list. My association has now been completed. Next, on our receiving transaction, we have added the same option. You can see this item on my purchase order lookup. And now I'm going to scan a new alternate item number. I'm presented with a message that asks if I want to associate it to an item on my purchase order. Go ahead and say yes. Make my selection. And then it's automatically associated. I can use any of these item numbers across any of the Panatracker GP application to capture the transactions efficiently. To confirm this, let's go ahead and go back to my inquiry screen. And we're going to scan each of these item numbers so you can see that they will translate to my GP item number. Don't worry, we haven't forgotten about an audit trail. We log every entry made from the handheld, including who made it and when it was completed in our Panatracker logging database. For more information on this 
or any of our other Panatracker GP inventory features and modules, please contact us.